Let's take a look at the latest on Tropical Storm Gabrielle here on our Thursday morning. And you know, this storm is struggling, to be quite frank with you. It's a tropical storm, but... Oh my goodness, we're going to look at the visible satellite imagery uh, here in just a moment. By the way, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta here at First Coast News, always doing our best to not hype up a storm here, give you the facts and information. And this storm is far from being needed to be hyped up. Oh my goodness. Uh, it is expected still to become a Cat 1 for a brief period of time just towards the east of Bermuda, but... Uh, I'm not even really seeing that at this time. Look at our satellite imagery. You can see the bulk of the convection. There's your low-level center. You see it just towards the north and east and towards the south and east of it. And on visible satellite imagery, you can really get a good, clear idea of where that low-level center is. It's right here, far removed from the bulk of the thunderstorms. Basically, what's happened is wind shear has come through as well as drier. It's knocked it off and basically ripped all the clothes off. It's completely exposed. So you're seeing those low-level cumulus clouds here on the visible satellite but yeah it's it's not much and this is why if you take a look at the national hurricane center's wind history they haven't really intensified the storm system at all it's struggled it's been about 35 to 40 miles per hour then it got up to 50 yesterday and it's been staying stagnant at that and and i think that's even a bit of a stretch we take a look at the gfs model it's going to struggle against the shear against this dry air and for a brief period of time, East of Bermuda, it could intensify, but really, it, it's not just the GFS, the ECMWF as well. This might just kind of fizzle out or maintain this weak tropical storm to intensity throughout the duration of its lifespan. So just want to stress yet again, it's nothing to really worry about here. We take a look at the spaghetti plots, high confidence of turns to the north around the Bermuda High. Right now, it has that dry air, but it will eventually escape it. And we have this big dip in the upper level jet over the southeast, which is basically going to continue to provide that wind shear and kick this off towards the north and east that dip in the jet though is going to create some instability as we go in the next week um, associate with a front not with the tropical system for parts of florida so you could be looking at increase in some showers that is a separate thing check out firstcoastnews.com we have more information on that one thing we are going to be looking at if this does become a bit of a hurricane out towards bermuda is could be some long period swells and some big waves along the east coast along with rip currents but that would be about the extent of the impact by the way we have a live stream here at first coast news talking about hurricane hugo we're going to talk about some memories with it some lessons learned and that was in fact all all the way back in 1989 here in late September. A lot of, if you remember Hurricane Hugo, let me know in the comment section. Really would like to hear from you here. And um, if you have any other questions, shoot us a message here at First Coast News. If you have more, want more information, check out firstcoastnews.com slash Hurricane Central. Meteorologist Robert Spett, as always, stay safe out there.